Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is John Hale and I am a Maryland Backyard Beekeeper. I call myself a Backyard Beekeeper because I'm starting out this year, this is my first season, my first uh, year as a beekeeper. I'm going to have two hives, right? Two hives in my backyard. Um, generally when you talk about beekeeping, um, when you talk about anything from one to eight hives, you're talking about a backyard beekeeper, a hobbyist. Uh, when you talk about anything above eight, uh, eight to 50 or so, you're talking about a sideliner, right? Those are people who actually rely on beekeeping as part of their income, for their, for their yearly income. Um, and those guys are, 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 are a little different, right, as far as the way they do things. Um, and then above 50, you're really talking about professional beekeepers. So across YouTube, uh, you'll see a lot of channels focused on various aspects of beekeeping, um, whether it be backyard beekeeping, sideliners, or uh, professionals. Uh, some of my favorite uh, YouTubers happen to be sideliners or professionals. Um, but the things that they do, um, while, while the things that we do scale up, the things that they do don't necessarily scale down the same way for the backyard beekeeper. So I'm really going to focus on being a backyard beekeeper here in Maryland. Now I live in central Maryland, um, not the eastern shore, you know, not in western Maryland in the mountains. I live in central Maryland in a suburban neighborhood. I live in the agricultural hardiness zone 7A. Um, but, but, you know, you'll learn as you go along in beekeeping that the hardiness zone doesn't really mean a whole lot uh, as far as what it, how things translate across uh, the country. Uh, you know, somebody in 7A in a different part of the country, they have completely different plants, uh, food sources, uh, nectar flows. Uh, so beekeeping really is a local hobby. Um, that's why I encourage everybody to, uh, to join a local beekeeping club. Uh, attend local beekeeping classes, talk to local beekeepers and find out what their habits are and what they're doing, how they're doing it. Even if you don't follow what they're doing, at least hear what they're doing, right? See what's successful for them and, and then you can kind of take away and, and do what you want to do uh, from your hobby perspective. Um, I am going to have two hives this year. Uh, my goals are to take those two hives, get them healthy, uh, grow, and then ultimately get them through the winter. Um, that's my goal, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to harvest any honey from the, from the hives this year. I'm not really trying to get any product away. My goal is to get two hives healthy, uh, hardy, and through the winter. Um, and then next year, maybe we can look at harvesting something out of the hives, you know, getting something back out of the hobby. Um, so, um, so that's kind of what my goals are. Uh, I hope you decide to join me and, and, uh, along this process as I get my new beekeeper suit uh, dirty, my virgin white beekeeper suit dirty for the first year. Um, but I hope you decide to join me uh, on the journey and, uh, and we can do this together. If you don't decide to join me, I hope hopefully you get something out of this uh, and it's beneficial to you. Um, you know, as we go along through, the, through this year, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have episodes where we're gonna talk about equipment, we're gonna, gonna talk about feeding, um, we're going to talk about uh, techniques that I use, and I'll explain why I do what I do. Um, it's not necessarily going to work for you, uh, based on where you're at in the country. You know, once again, beekeeping is regional. Um, but but you'll at least you'll at least see why what I'm doing, and I'll explain why I'm doing it. Um, you know, beekeeping is one of those things that when you ask three beekeepers their opinions, you're going to get six answers. Uh, there's no really wrong way to do things, no really right right, right way to do things. Uh, there's your way and and whether or not it's successful or not is, is dependent upon how you how you handle that stuff so um, Once again first year beekeeper backyard beekeeper two hives um, I hope you join me in my journey and uh, and follow along. So thanks a lot guys